Here though is Lansbury, 25 yards out. Next one to try is Luck. Blocked by Craney. Elliot Ward is there first to the ball on halfway. And then uh, Gidiura has just fouled Silvestre. Ten yards inside the Blackpool half. It'll be a free kick to the Seasiders. Nil-nil. Here's Silvestre from the top of the D for Blackpool firing the Seasiders in front here at the city ground. Forrest not dealing with the defensive situation headed away as far as about 25 yards and it found its way to Ludovic Silvestre and the Frenchman carried it forward to the top of the D and curled a beauty just the same as Delfonso's effort earlier in the match that thudded against the crossbar he's curled it round Darlow and this time it hasn't found woodwork it's found the net here's a ball into the near post area in the Blackpool penalty area held up by Blackstock laid off for Cox deflected save now there's got to be a penalty as Basham challenges Simon Cox it is a penalty kick and Basham is going to see a card as well, a yellow card for Chris Basham. Penalty kick, Forrest. Matt, uh, Matt Jilks comes off his line to maybe try and put McGugan off a little bit. Referee Craig Pawson tells him to go and stand on his line. In front of the Trent end, clear penalty as Basham brought down Simon Cox and Lewis McGugan with the chance to step off the bench yet again. Right-footed, low into the bottom corner. And it's 1-1 with just under 10 minutes to go. Lewis McGugan scores again. There is very little celebration because every one of those Forest players knows now that they can go on and win the game. They want to get on with it as soon as they possibly can. McGugan scores scores again, six in a row for him, Forrest on terms, nine to go.